Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, but we're gonna talk about the situation with Nick Merckx with Call of Duty, with uh, his skin, his bundle being removed from the game because he tweeted that uh, they should leave kids alone in regards to the uh, Pride Month kerfuffle. That's what I'm gonna call it, because it's YouTube. The Pride Month kerfuffle in California. Very, I thought, middle of the road, blah, tweet could be taken a number of different ways. He said he didn't mean anything against the LGBTQIA plus community, um, but he got booted from Call of Duty anyway, and now there's severe backlash. Lots of other streamers uninstalling Call of Duty, including Dr. Disrespect. Uh, we've got uh, other people removing his skin. We've got, let's see, uh, Tim the Tatman requests that his skin is being removed in solidarity with Nick Merckx. We have some of his uh, fellow FaZe Clan uh, clan <laughs> standing with him. So this is going to become an incredibly, uh, incredibly divisive issue, guys. This is like Call of Duty. Th these are not gamers that you want to piss with, right? Right. Uh, and they stepped in. Activision stepped in. Again, Activision is not the company. Of all the companies out there, they are not the company to pretend to be the moral authority on these sorts of issues, given their own controversies, their own in-house controversies, you know, business practices, et cetera, et cetera. And also, I want to point out again, uh, and I pointed this out yesterday, I don't know if anybody else caught this, but Call of Duty, the official Call of Duty account, Pays Elon Musk a thousand dollars a month for a gold check. That's how much a gold check is, right? To be a thousand dollars a month for a gold check, and Elon Musk probably agrees with Nick Merckx. So there's that too. I'm just, I'm just saying. Gonna talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, uh, and rants, guys. You get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! There's my woohoo. It's not as good as Geeky's, but there you go. Uh, so yeah, let's um. Let's talk about some of that backlash. We're going to talk about Tim the Tap Man uh, having his skin pulled out. We're going to talk about Hassan Abi stepping in it because, of course, he is. And then we're going to talk about uh, Dr. Dr. Disrespect uninstalling the game uh, on his live stream because he's so pissed off. So this is coming from uh, Sports Kita. Call of Duty removed, removed Nick Merck's operator bundle from Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone. Dr. Disrespect, Phase Rain, and more respond. So we talked about that yesterday. Uh, again, it was very, uh, I thought, innocuous tweet. They should leave little children alone. That's the real issue. Because, uh, again, I think he was talking in reference to um, uh, the altercation. I think it was an altercation. There were a couple altercations. One of them was at uh, an elementary school, and one of them was at uh, the district HQ, school district HQ. But he's basically like, you know, in, in this situation, they got to leave the little kids out of it. That's all he said. He said he's a dad. And uh, yeah, that's enough. That's that's all it takes. Right. And again, this is Elon Musk's Twitter. Elon Musk's own hot takes much, much more blunt, more severe than anything Nick Merckx has said. Yet they're paying him every month. You know, they're using the platform to cancel Nick Merckx. Un unreal. So he addressed the issue during a live stream. Uh, the video bothered me. I just don't think it's any place for a teacher or a school. I don't think it's a place to speak about things like that. And it's not just that I think it shouldn't be spoken about. Uh, if that's what you got from that tweet, you're just wrong. I don't have any quarrels with anybody here. I don't have a quarrel with people on the internet. But he won't apologize. He's not going to apologize. He's not going to, I mean, he got canceled, but he's not going to apologize for his tweet. And personally, I think his tweet was very, uh, very middle of the road. But it doesn't take much. I mean, look at what happened to Gina Carano, right? It doesn't take much. I'm not going to put pronouns in my bio. Well, you're fired, you know, for getting into a fight with people over pronouns. The following day, Call of Duty announced that the Detroit-born personalities in-game bundle had been removed. As expected, the revelation went viral, listing responses from numerous prominent personalities. Uh, YouTube streamer Herschel Guy, known as Dr. Disrespect. His name's Herschel. I know that. Dr. Disrespect. Wondered who was in charge of the first person shooters, public relations and marketing. He went on to call them pathetic, pathetic. Uh, Faze Rain opined on the situation, saying that's effed up. That's effed up that they did that. Um, 
contentious kick streamer Heel Mike also chimed in. What an absolute effing joke. Sad, sad, sad world we live in. Uh, not all responses were against Call of Duty's decision to remove Nick Merckx from the game. Um, of course, you know, it's Twitter. So people are going to be like, that was a quick response. Oh, good for you. Good for you. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, let's uh, let's go out and see what Dr. Disrespect had to say. Uh, he is uninstalling the game from his computer and he's pissed off. Is uninstall the game. Number one. I mean, don't get a mistake in this year's Call of Duty is the worst in its franchise. <laughs> so he had to throw some shade in there. But yeah, he's just uh, like, hey, yeah, I'm done. I'm out. But that decision by COD's PR marketing team. <sighs> uh, I'll that's... tell you right now, man. That's a tough one. That's a tough one to digest to him or reinstate his bundle in order for me to consider playing Call of Duty again. Yeah, so he would he would have to uh, get an apology and they'd have to reinstate his bundle or Dr. Disrespect, who's one of the largest YouTube game streamers, by the way, will no longer play Call of Duty. So that's that's not a good look, not a good look. But again, this is uh, Activision we're talking about. Uh, they're very, very used to not looking good. Now, I, I got to be honest, I don't know. I don't know how much effect a boycott is actually going to have, given the fact that uh, Activision Blizzard just sold a ridiculous number of Diablo 4 downloads copies. Uh, they're making bank off of Diablo, but uh, everything else seems to be going to shit over there. So, I mean, why not Call of Duty too? You know, why not Call of Duty? So, Hassan... Abi, of course, is stepping in it and criticizing Dr. Disrespect for deleting the game because, you know, he is he is politics first and uh, gaming uh, second. Right. Uh, in fact, they even call us out on Game Rant. They said he's he's known for his impressive fundraising ability. That is true. I'll give him that. And daily uh, Twitch streams combining video gaming with reactions and leftist political commentary. So he's no stranger to beefs and controversy among his fellow streamers. Uh, and of course, he's going to weigh in because. You know, he has to. This is an ambulance that needs to be chased, right? In a clip from his recent Twitch stream, uh, Piker jokingly criticizes Dr. Disrespect, calling him more loyal to Nick Merckx having his skin than his own wife. Ouch. YouTuber streamer uninstalled Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for the second time and vowed to never play it again in response to Activision pulling the Nick Merckx skin. Uh... Hassan later points out some of Nick Merck's other controversial stances as of late, such as his no vaccine required meet and greet. So wait, 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 wait. So now you're going to go back. See, this is what these people do. This is what these people do. They find one thing they don't like that you've done, that you've said or done out of turn. And then they go back and they try to find every other thing to support their opinion that you are an awful person. So they're, he's going to go back and be like, well, remember that vaccine stuff? Yeah, he was anti-vax. He was the anti-vaxxer. So, of course, of course, he's a bigot, too, because, you know, anybody who doesn't want a vaccine is a, a bigot. You know who else uh, was against the vaccine mandates? Fran freaking Drescher, who's in charge of SAG-AFTRA, right? She's the head of, I believe, the head of SAG-AFTRA now, and she was against the vaccine mandates. Yeah, I'm just going to put that out there. She's 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 left-wing. As far as I know, she's lo a left-winger. Um, <laughs> you know, these viewpoints combined with some of his feuds with other streamers, including Dr. Disrespect, make for a human being that some brands might consider a bit toxic to work with. Oh, fuck right off. This is Game Rant. You should be shut down. You're going to get shut down. Wait, they're calling him a human being that brands consider toxic to work with. Fucking Game Rant. Dude, I'd fucking sue him. At the end of the day, no matter how much entertainment it provides for consumers, Activision is still a large business with a bottom line, catering to as many demographics as possible. It's a tried and true money-making strategy. Dude, you these websites were attacking Activision Blizzard for every little damn thing they did just a year or two ago. And now they're standing for Activision because this guy said one thing on Twitter they don't like. Isn't that fucking weird? Think about that. Isn't that fucking weird how quickly these people just like flip flop? Well, now Activision's great. They're just standing up for gay people. Never mind the Cosby suite. That mm, whatever, whatever. But, uh, you know, the bigots, we got to get rid of the bigots. You know, it's OK if you're a rapist, but the bigots, we got to get rid of them. Uh, seriously, 
again, you know, coming from any other company, I might uh, I might give you more of a pass. But freaking Activision Blizzard. Are you freaking kidding me? You're going to stand for Activision Blizzard after everything that's come out about this company. Unreal. Uh, you, know, you spent years attacking them. Now, I've heard, uh, you know, again, there, there are rumors that it wasn't quite as bad as it was being made out to be, that there were people inside the company that were apparently trying to take over. That came from, um, I think, Mark Kern said that, that, that activists were using the opportunity to take over the, the company, which apparently they have because they're firing this guy, kicking this guy out of their game over something very innocuous, I, I personally think. So this is uh, coming from comicbook.com. Tim the Tatman requests Call of Duty skin be removed in solidarity with Nick Merckx. Uh, so this is Tim the Tatman, who I am not that familiar with, but uh, he is another streamer, gamer. Um, earlier in the week, Nick Merckx received a lot of backlash for a tweet he made that was deemed by some as being allegedly anti-LGBTQ during Pride Month. So that's how you do it. Comicbook.com understands the nuance of the conversation. They also know how to not get sued, allegedly, by some people. Game Rant's just like, yeah, he's a toxic human being. You're going to get fucking sued. You guys are going to get sued. Uh, clashing over a school board vote. Uh, yeah, this is about the demonstrations. Um, they should leave the little children alone. That's the real issue. He clarified later it was not intended to be hurtful to anyone or be anti-LGBT. Uh, and that's true. You actually can say, hey, um, you know, you do you, boo. But, uh, you know, when it comes to kids, parents should ultimately have the say in what their kids are taught at school, especially if they're uh, elementary age. Uh, you know, you, you can have that opinion. I think that's a, that's that's an opinion you're allowed to have as a parent that I want. I want to be the one to talk to my kids about stuff. But uh, apparently you can't say that on on Twitter. You can call for death wish for death, openly wish for death on politicians and, and people you don't like. That's cool, but you can't say the other thing, right? Uh, Tim the Tatman is asking for his skin to be removed from Call of Duty out of solidarity with Nick Merckx. Of course, we have no idea if this will actually happen. Um, I, he probably has a right to say, hey, I don't want to. I'll, all you gotta do, Tim, all you gotta do is just tweet something like, I hate rainbows, and that'll get you, that'll get you <laughs> That'll get you booted. And it could actually be, then you could clarify later and be like, I hate rainbows because the rain has to come first and it gets everything damp. And I don't like to be wet. That's what my tweet meant. <laughs> uh, it feels wrong for me to have mine and him no longer have his. In support of my friend, please remove the Tim the Tatman bundle. Dr. Disrespect announced that he's boycotting Call of Duty and solidarity with Nick Merckx. Yeah, this is... Um, this is quite the uh, quite the drama. So is this going to wind up being the video game version of uh, Bud Light or Target? I don't know. But again, you know, COD players are a totally different breed if you've ever spent any time online with COD players. You know, uh, it's 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 a totally different thing. I don't think they're going to let up on this one. And this is like the perfect nexus of of everything. And now I, I'm waiting for all the Gamergate articles. I'm waiting for all the Gamergate articles that are going to pop up and be like, ah, Gamergate's back, I guess, because of this. Nick Merckx reignited Gamergate. Thank God we need the clicks. That toxic human being is going to give us clicks so we can stay in business and not get laid off. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.